Who do you think reads more books? I feel like based on your answer earlier, I know this, but who reads more books, the deep or a train? A <laughs> train, but he, <laughs> but hold on. Hi, welcome to a uh, brand new episode of Superhero Club Presents The Boys After Show. Again, this is your one-stop shop uh, on Prime Video YouTube for all things season three of The Boys. Um, per usual, I am your co-host KB and I am joined by one of my faves, the fabulous Stephanie Williams. Hey, uh, I'm happy to be here and I'm trying to come up with some names for, um, I don't know, fans of The Boys um, because Vought rules everything. Um, Vought Nears, does that work? Kind of like, you know, Mouseketeers because they're giving that. <laughs> so welcome but Vought murder. Nears. And if you hate that, just let me know. I mean, the murder it's, it's, like mouse it seemed very cute bot. <laughs> yes we're here to talk about episode four which was honestly uh compared to the first three episodes um there was still a lot that went on but i was actually a little relieved that it wasn't so much or maybe that just means that i've been desensitized a little bit from binging three episodes all at once but who's to say we'll get into it uh because there are some things that happened in this episode that were like wow i think it's interesting that you are desensitized because i felt like episode four was more chaotic than the first three combined uh for me i i don't know that's why i'm like oh wait you thought it was a bit more marvel that's interesting so i can't wait for I us mean... to get into it <laughs> It's either the show or my week, one of the two. But either way, <laughs> I was like, okay, you know. <laughs> well, before we get into our thoughts, can we just take a look back at, at those uh, insanely wild episodes one through three? Me and the boys, we all set up. May I please have the green light? No naming or torture or setting anyone on fire. <laughs> have restored a wholesome image. The board wants to make you co-captain of the seven. I am just a man who fell for the wrong woman. I am excited for everyone to meet the real me. I'm not just like the rest of you. I am better. I'm the real hero. White males in the Rust Belt loved your speech. Yes. He was just walking home from work. Blue Hawk curb stomped him so hard it cracked the pavement. I need you to speak up. I'm Michael Jordan. I'm not Malcolm X. I could bring good people into the seven. You keep your distance. She's my girl now. He's lost his mind. As long as I am CEO, he's under control. Newman's the head popper. Pretty much Stan Edgar's daughter, too. Thought we could fight about the right way, but we can't. We have to do it your way. I think I have something. What's BCO rate? Some kind of weapon. If you believe the rumors, it's the thing that killed Soldier Boy. This is our best chance to kill Homelander. What's this? Ten feet makes him a suit for 24 hours. What kills Soldier Boy? That's a CIA! You knew the man, you never said a word. You said you'd always watch out for me! I hate you. Set up a meeting with that one, Nina. It's a very bad idea. No, Frenchie, it's a very good idea. We're going to Russia. See? I told you it was a lot. <laughs> I mean, I, I, listen, I never said it wasn't a lot. I just feel like this episode for me had, had way more. So, you know it what, did. Stephanie, go ahead. Tell us how are you feeling overall about the events of episode four? Ooh, um, the tides are turning, um, and I don't know if it's to be, and, and when I say that, like, I don't know for the better for whom, because WTF, we go across to another, an entire continent, another country, because uh, they do end up going to Russia. Um, a train's doing stuff. Um, Homer, for always, is doing stuff. Starlight is being a little sneaky um, and not being very good about it. Because, uh, like, maybe you should, I don't know, vet the folks that you're talking about. Uh, we've got Maeve um, slicing and dicing, uh, you know, leaning into her uh, Wonder Woman, if you will. And Huey is, like I said last week, being annoying. Um, so we've got that. And again, a lot happens, but comparatively speaking, those last three episodes plus this one, again, I think I might just be a little desensitized because, well, we'll get into it, but Kamiko, we've got to talk about her. 
because wow yeah listen i swear i definitely like audibly gasped a lot during this episode i feel like more so than the first three for me but the biggest thing i really was side eyeing this episode is a train like i mean i really didn't think it would be possible because that new suit still terrible um the middle passage video game still a terrible idea and you know this week is no better this spoof of the kendall jenner pepsi ad um loved it it. like i definitely feel like the boys leans into pop culture in a way uh and and really makes it satirical in a way that no other show does so let's check out uh that clip Where are those people going? There's a protest on the street. Hey, Trey, where are you going? Almost ready to shoot. This is important. Listen to each other. A train's turbo rush energy drink. I mean, okay. That A train rushing, rushing to peace like MLK Jr. Like I just, I cannot do this, please. If anything, that Kendall Jenner, <laughs> wow, <laughs> Kendall Jenner, um, Pepsi commercial was so ridiculous that. Do we live in the boys universe? Because I don't know. Because like that just fits so perfectly honestly this episode i was like a train you are spiraling and uh you being upset that homelander chose the deep over you like i mean both y'all immature and foul but okay sir however we want to live life truly like um truly if this is what you want a train is what you want but yeah overall i think this episode for me had a lot more individual character development. And I think it's really hard in shows yes. like this that have such a large ensemble cast to really nail it. And I feel like mm-hmm. for our core team, we got a lot of good character development. Like we saw things about each person and I feel like that's going to be, uh, some of the things that we saw this episode, I feel like will be lasting themes as the season uh, progresses. Let's get into some major moments. Um, and we'll just go ahead and cue this clip up because Kamiko, Kamiko, Kamiko. Uh, let us play her shiny moment this episode. my girl Kamiko. I like to call her, I, I'm changing her name now to Kamiko and the Vicious Vibrators. I feel like, you know, she could go on tour with these <laughs> vibrators as a weapon. I'm like, go ahead, girl, your Vicious Vibrators. Go ahead and make it happen for the team. Um, although I definitely feel like she should not have been put in that position by Butcher. Um, no. But I definitely like this entire episode where I tell you Karen was really acting down which it's already hard to play this role and you know not um, verbally say anything and then just Mm -hmm. the heaviness the guilt that's been weighing on her I mean honestly I am thrilled that her and Frenchie are like we gotta go because you know 
Butcher is a terror, but he hasn't been this bad ever, I feel like. Like this, I said it last week, no. this beast situation is really changing him and he is becoming the thing that he hates the most. So I I truly, truly shout out to Kamiko uh, because this episode was really, she killed. <sighs> Standout moment for me is, would have been that one, but I would say that it is the awkward purple situation um and we can go ahead and cue that clip up and you'll know what i mean once you once we watch it okay really let me save you for once huey this has to work it'll work what'll work uh, my Vought Sonic speaker set up. I'm sorry, how did you get in? Oh, I have a key. Yeah, I gotta keep an eye on my best girl, right? By the way, you're a sound sleeper, Starlight. Don't look at you two. I'm kidding. Come on, lighten up. I'm joking. But we gotta go. We're running late. Rolling Stone, cover shoot, hot issue. We got no. hottest ship. Don't you worry, Yui. This little love affair is strictly for the cameras. Although that's how me and Maeve started out, and that got quite spicy. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding, man. Let's just say that Maeve can bend a steel pipe without using her hands. <laughs> What's she like? She good. Ooh. Touch him or anyone he cares about, and I'll walk. And I'll take my approval points with me. I'm kidding. You really need to lighten up, guys. Come on, Starlight. Mario's waiting. First okay. off, um. <laughs> I was just about to say, first off, not her knowing that the approval rating matters to him so much that she can use it as a threat. Like, truly, Homelander is predictable. Yeah, is that, but also, um, I don't, like, talking about whatever they're doing while at headquarters or whatever, it just did not seem like a wise idea, but Starlight Baby. You and your Home Depot powers, um, and by that I mean, you know, little glitter and gold, uh, because her, because <laughs> like when her eyes were lighting up, all I could think of is being at school and that one light bulb that, for whatever reason, they refuse to fix, and it just kind of like makes that noise. I'm like, baby, there is, like, I get it. Homelander is, you know, messing with your man, but no girl like you and basically almost everybody stands no chance against him um and probably the biggest moment was the return of soldier boy um because i wanted to make sure we mentioned that because it was a, a huge moment yeah. but yeah I, I it's will not say looking good um so here's the thing the return of soldier boy wasn't that mm -hmm. ominous to me yet you know obviously yeah we know what he's capable of and where that's headed but for me, I'm going to have to shout out Laz Alonzo because poor M.M. really looked like he was going to have a cardiac event when, you know, Butcher know. pulled that door off and he saw Soldier Boy still breathing. Um, it was terror. It was fear. It was pain. So truly shout out to Laz because he was really acting down in that scene. Um, characters to watch. Um I'll go ahead and launch right yeah. into that uh, Soldier Boy, of course. Do right? it, do it. Let's talk about it. Because, I mean, you know, honestly, the characters to watch are kind of interesting this season. So I'm curious, were you right or wrong last episode, Step about who was your character to watch? You know what? Um, the Deep. Because he was actually really leaning into being um, a moderate eel. Uh, just keep it, in, you know, aquatic for him, uh, snaking about and being someone who you really do want to see 
A train punch into a wall. The Deep is a, a puppet at best every single season. Like, mm -hmm. he truly has to be <laughs> controlled by someone else to have, like, a thought of his own. And so for me, I'm always mm -hmm. like, you just cannot do anything yourself. You have to have someone literally mm -hmm. turning your neck uh, around at all things. I'm going to go back. So, you know, um, my <laughs> pick from last week was, you know, uh, Supersonic. And um, boy, was I oh so right and oh so wrong um, about that pick. Yeah. Um, but this week, I I'll dive into that more next week for episode five. But for this week, the character to watch is actually A-Train for me. You know, he's fumbling a lot of balls, um, like pretty much at every turn. So I'm looking to A-Train to basically cause um, a domino effect level of chaos um, over the next, what is it, um, four episodes? Yeah, I'm looking for him to cause more chaos yeah. in the next four episodes. So I think he's the one to watch, uh, mostly because what we see this episode, and this is even before he had the fight with the Deep, and we saw it in the first three, he's really grasping for straws to still be loved, adored, to still have this level of attention, to still have his spot in the seven. He's willing to do anything at this point to get back into Homelander's good graces. And that's why I feel like we can't trust him. And absolutely fair. Like, what an all-time low you have to be at to, like, grovel to someone like Homelander. Not just simply because he could kill you, but because he's such a terrible person. But... Um, when you are down bad, I guess you don't have any, uh, you don't have any choice. Uh, so moving on to Easter eggs. Now, usually I would be ready with that, but I think something, and I don't know if this was meant to be an Easter egg or not, uh, but I want to talk about <laughs> the dildos because one, how can we not? Um, again, a recurring theme. Um, and they were also on theme. Uh, you had a Starlight dildo. Um, you had a Homelander one. I don't know if there's an A-Train one, but probably was. And I'm we didn't. imagine that the we vibration the speed on Black that. Noir. Oh. We saw the Black Noir. Black I mean, Noir. The, okay, because I know I it was Noir. one of them. And they make excellent killing machines. So uh, shout out to them. Multi-purpose, getting your money's worth. Because um, sometimes vibrators are not cheap. I feel like what we need to do is just talk about speculations because there are tons of those from episode four. And uh, for me, what I feel like is going to occur in episode five is Annie and Huey will hit a very, very, very rough patch. Um, I feel like that's coming and it's being teased a lot. Um, I feel like we may see M.M. try to take on Soldier Boy by himself. Again, I think he's unstable. He's not really thinking mm -hmm. clearly. He has a lot of trauma and a lot of grief. Um, I also think that Butcher, the backup baby daddy, um, I think that he will continue to be oblivious of all of the damage that he's causing and truly how he's like, you know, breaking up the boys. <sighs> um... And just everyone run for cover whenever that happens. Um, totally agree with you on Starlight and Huey. Um, I think Huey is going to see himself become, or we will see him become more butcher-like this season. Um, I just mm -hmm. feel like, I just feel like that's his, as much as, because Butcher seems like a, you know, a stepdaddy to him as well. I think Maeve is really going to come through in a way that, one, everyone else needs her to, like, a step up from what she did in season two, which was really huge for her. But I don't know, like, I just feel like Maeve is going to possibly end up being, if not a key component, um, at least, like, one of the people to help them get to whatever it is that um, they need to take out Homelander. All right, any final words, thoughts, or comments, KB? Um, you know, I feel like everyone better sleep with one eye open now that Soldier Boy is back. One eye open when you're sleeping, whatever song that is. It just came to me, so there's that. <laughs> <laughs> any comments on your end, final thoughts? I still think... Um, that Soldier Boy and Homelander, when they meet, when those two, when they come together, 
Um, it is going to be like um, my favorite, Niecy Nash from Reno 911. She told that young lady that, you know, the hair was not matching. It wasn't given. It was conflict. It was it was a little conflict. Um, you know, it was getting, um, you know, Peruvian in the front and, you know, a little kitchen in the back. I think that is what's going to happen when... Soldier Boy and Homelander meet up. We are going to see that clash. We are going to see what happens when, um, you know, you go ahead and wet your hair after, or, you know, like it, a Jerry Curl situation, right? Um, Jerry Curls and fire don't go hand in hand. Um, so if Homelander is the Jerry Curl because he is leaving his mess everywhere, and Soldier Boy is our fire it is just not going to go down the way that um it's going to be beneficial to anyone so i'm ready i'm ready to see that fight um i want a train i just want somebody to sit a train down and talk to him um there has to be a jay-z or someone um that he can go to a uh, brunch with uh for a 200 dollar brunch or whatever you know that is um and talk to him and get him right since he wants to be you know doing things in a black community you know go go talk to somebody so uh you know just real quick before before we get into mm -hmm. the fan service you know we're gonna do a little rapid fire so i mean don't think just answer okay, okay? so who disappoints okay. you more stan edgar or victoria newman victoria okay who would win in a soup fight? Uh, do you think it's Soldier Boy or Homelander? Oh God! I know you think Soldier about the Boy. comics. That's why. <laughs> right? Who do you think <laughs> reads more books? I feel like based on your answer earlier, I know this, but who reads more books, The Deep or A Train? <laughs> <laughs> A-Train, oh. but he, <laughs> but hold on, the reason, because <laughs> like the deep, I, I don't, I don't, I think he is holding the book upside down, uh, but A-Train uh -huh. is probably, <laughs> yeah, uh, the deep is being read too, and nothing wrong with that, uh, you still, you know, you still learn something, say. something, but. So you, you mentioned that you need to see more Maeve in Black Noir this season, I 100% agree, but who do you think would win in a sword fight? between the two of them is Maeve taking it home because you know she's sharpening her life skills or is it Black Noir because you know mostly he's somewhere eating an apple living life Maeve um but I do not feel confident in saying that also <laughs> I feel like because that's a tough question right well no because this feels like <laughs> the women's movement and it's like because as a black woman you're asking me do I start with this black man Black Noir or this white woman, um, Queen Maeve. <laughs> and at those yeah, intersections, I put you, I cannot, I put you in a uh, challenging so situation. <laughs> <laughs> you did. It was a very tricky one, and I, I don't appreciate. But I'm saying Maeve, but like I do not say that confidently, just off a of skill level, because I don't know, because like she's trying to get her life together, so maybe she has that comeback kind of like Rocky vibe to her. But Maeve, but that is, I'm putting two dollars down. I'm not betting the whole house. <laughs> you know, I'm going to put a solid 10 on Black Noir. So we would be, you know, going head to head for sure. Because I'm, I'm definitely going to do that. Uh -huh. So before we head out, let's do a little fan service. Are there any questions or comments that are interesting? Ooh, so curious Ooh, about um, so powers. I am too, because... <laughs> you know, anybody who is giving you, so going back to the X-Men, um, you have his powers or this new power that is he seems to have reminds me of Havoc, um, who is Scott Summers' brother. Um, they're a whole, the Summers are a mess. I won't get, get into that, but um, maybe that one DNA, of the things that DNA him, is a mess. <laughs> ain't it? In the Summers family. Oh, it's like, Gene, so baby. <laughs> yes, and I'm like, Gene, we do you not know, keep passing not out, keep dying. No, <laughs> but his powers, I mean, that whatever this new power is reminds me of that. So that combined with what powers were before, um, I don't know, like Homelander probably had maybe met his match. 
We'll find out. Hopefully, I say, I want to see this fight. I'm gonna say because Soldier Boy is an OG. Like, yeah, he been down bad. Yeah, for some decades. <laughs> it's been a long time, <laughs> but I feel like it's like riding a bike once you get back to it. And because he's an OG mm -hmm. racist in an OG suit, I feel like the combination of both. One, I can only imagine, you know, like not not Soldier Boy coming out here being like the blacks got rights. Like I feel like that's gonna be the first shock that he's gonna have when he, you know, <laughs> enters the world. Like that y'all for real got rights and we out here together and y'all uh, there was a black president. You know, I really feel like Soldier Boy is probably gonna be shocked in that regard. But um, I kid, but really I do feel like the OG powers might be a lot stronger, you know, um, than Homelander. And they have been yeah. suppressed for decades that it's gonna, he gonna come out the gate swinging, I feel. Um, Victoria's daughter's <laughs> superpowers ideas. Oh, you know what? I don't know. I, it really could be anything. Mm -hmm. You know what I will say? So, I will say this. Yeah. I will say this. I did think when Homelander handed her that vial that it wasn't gonna have any. Like I thought it was probably like a placebo. I was like, I don't trust Homelander, so this is probably not gonna work. Cause I, cause like, cause here's the thing, like for the powers, is it one of those things where it's like the X gene and it just manifests differently in people? Like it's still the same compound, like the same material and makeup um or does it like and then it'll just manifest differently or are they're like hey this is for you to run fast or you to be super strong or whatever so i will be interested all right well that is the end of our episode stephanie plug everything plug your work plug your socials you know tell us where you'll be what you're dropping soon what's oh. happening in your world well um if you are a reader of comics uh nubia the amazon no wow nubia queen of the amazons number one just dropped this week um so you can pick that up at your local comic book store or on amazon prime so plug in that there um, also, if you are in the New York City area, I will be attending New York City Comic Con uh, this fall. Uh, so I think that's October 6th through the 9th. And if you are in the Charlotte area, I will be at Heroes Con too. And that is this month, June 24th through 26th. So stop on by if you're there. We'll sign some comics. I'll talk to you about the boys. You know, we could just have a really great time. And we could definitely talk more spoilers because, I mean, come on. It's the boys. There's so much to talk about. Um, we can even talk about the comics, which I don't normally like to do, but we could do it. So uh, there's that. And you can follow me <laughs> on TikTok, Instagram, and also Twitter at Steph underscore I underscore Will. So yeah, I will be at San Diego Comic-Con if anyone is around yes. to chat about the boys. Let's do it. And I will also potentially, maybe, be at New York Comic Con. The way my fall schedule is set fingers up crossed. is aggressive. But but fingers crossed I, I have a little bit of free time in October to also be at New York Comic Con. Uh, and you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter only. And really high key I have a TikTok. But like I told y'all last week, I just be looking at other people's videos and supporting them. Um, I have personally not put out any of my own. But you can see all of the other content that I am working on for um, a bunch of different media outlets and talking about a lot of different franchises. Um, so just follow me on Instagram and Twitter at the Lady KB. That's T H E L A D Y K A Y B. And per usual, do not forget to subscribe to the Amazon Prime Video YouTube channel right now so you do not miss an episode of Superhero Club Presents The Boys After Show. Uh, as always, the first two seasons are, are out now, plus the first four episodes of season three, you know, available right now of The Boys. Please watch and rewatch. Um, you know, that's exactly how we got this season four, which we're super excited about. And then uh, until next Friday, thank you for joining and we'll see you guys soon.